Hey artists! Welcome to another painting in my current 30 paintings in 30 days challenge. We are on the fifth one and I am still loving the process so far which is awesome because there's still so many to go. So for this particular painting, I decided to go with a hummingbird. These little guys are just so precious. And I personally find that the, the fact that they move so fast and in photographs, they often appear a little blurred. It always just reminds me of a much more chaotic, sort of impressionistic, loose painting. And for that reason, I thought they'd be very appropriate to use for this kind of series because I definitely am getting a little more abstract and impressionistic and just generally loose with my painting for these, uh, for this challenge because I've got 30 of them to do in 30 days. So I can't afford to, you know, spend eight hours on one painting every single day and, you know, pack in tons of detail. So yeah, I'm gonna get a little loose with it. And this is one of the ones I found I allowed myself to get even more loose with. And it was so much fun. Those pops of pink, the crazy <laughs> background. And you'll see in a few minutes that I actually dripped some of my odorless paint thinner over my wet painting. You can see it here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna actually eat away at that wet paint letting it drip down and giving it a little bit more of like a, an eroded look. And I just, I absolutely love this effect. And especially if you're working with oils and you use your odorless paint thinner, as opposed to if you're working with like acrylics and water, I find that because the paint thinner is actually breaking down that paint below it, like water typically wouldn't, it creates an even cooler effect. So I absolutely love using this with oils and I really embraced it with this particular. So with all of these pieces that I'm gonna be doing in this 30 paintings in 30 days challenge is I am allowing them a couple days to dry in between. And the reason why is because I really wanna be able to push the colors, push the saturation, the shadows, the chaos, frankly, I want to be able to push that even more by using glazes. And you can't use glazes over a wet painting. So I always make these make sure these are dry and then I have fun with some glazes and just generally push your boundaries and explore with them. Well, and that brings us to the end of another painting in the 30 paintings in 30 days challenge. I've never done anything quite like this before, or at least not successfully. So why don't you leave me a comment on this video if you've ever done a challenge like this before and how it went, whether or not you completed it, whether or not you would do it again. I find these challenges just so interesting. So make sure you leave me a comment down below. All right, I will see you in the next video.